and, and maybe we can start with you talking about some of those as, as, as you grew up and went through the educational system of Hawaii. Well, I'd like to say that in most instances, Hawaiians perceive, and I think it is true, that the educational system, the, the public school system in particular, is very anti-Hawaiian. And as a kid um, growing up in Hawaii and going to public school, I didn't... I didn't know anything about that. I didn't understand that until it happened to me over and over again. I was a smart kid. My father taught me to read before I went to kindergarten. And yet, in kindergarten, in first grade, in second grade, in third grade, continually I was put in with the slow readers. The teachers were, uh, in every instance, Japanese, except for my second grade teacher. She was Portuguese. And they expected that as a Hawaiian kid, I would be a slow reader. We had a boy uh, uh, who came from Honoka'a and came to Kanuoka'aina in his 10th grade year. Um, and once he finished that year, I was, we were down at the beach at Pukohola for the festival. And I had to do my end of the year report and I asked him, brother, what did you learn this past year? You know, what, what was the main thing that you learned that was just something special? And I had expected him to say something like, dancing hula or chanting or carving something or, you know, sailing on a makali'i or one of those kind of things. And he said, this school taught me something I never thought I could learn. And now I'm really now interested. This school taught you something you never thought you could learn? I said, and what was that? He said, you guys taught me how to read. You guys taught me how to read. Before coming to Kano, now he didn't graduate with a 12th grade reading level, I'll be the first to admit that, but he learned how to decode in 10th grade, and then in 11th and 12th grade he probably went up to 8th grade or something like that. But he came to us damaged by a system, damaged so badly that he didn't think he could learn. And I think this is, that's, that's what's happening to our people in this system, in this education system. It's making us think that we can't learn, that we are the uneducables, that we are the ones who cannot learn. So we as natives feel marginalized. Uh, we, we feel um, that we don't quite belong, and that's wrong.